Hey, good morning, guys. It's Shane with Monkey and Around. And, um, wanted to give you a little update. I'm back home from my kite camping trip. Did 24 miles two days. Uh, spent one night on the river. Slept in a hammock. Had a good night. It rained a little bit. It was a little chilly, but no big deal. Um, no big deal at all, really. So, uh, I wanted to throw together a quick video this morning. I'm working on that one. Uh, while I was gone for about two days, I did several hours of footage of videoing. So, um, kind of editing it that down, working on that. Um, and I'm going to try to trim it down to about an hour. So, uh, a few more days I'll have that video out. But I wanted to, wanted to give you a little quick video of my um, kite because I wanted to show you some changes that I did right before I went on the trip. And uh, maybe it'll help you. All right, so I'm over here with my Pelican. It's a Trailblazer 100, and um, I had showed you that I had added a, last time I'd showed you I'd added a fishing rod holder, as you can see. Let's spin it around. But um, I added some more deck rigging. Now I got my deck rigging at Walmart. It was like 10 bucks for the whole thing. And that come in super handy. Because it give me something else to kind of attach to here on the sides. And I run it all the way down. I dropped a, um, I put a little paddle holder right there. Um, that's pretty good. I like it there in front of me. So as I'm going down the river, I can just set it on that. If I need to, to grab a piece of gear or do something with, you know, with my um, camera or something like that. And then, as you can see, my kayak's still dirty. I hadn't even washed it up and cleaned it up. Um, <clears throat> this is the biggest thing I'm kind of proud of. Now, <clears throat> throw that out of the way. The, um, the back here was a small little, little section that was waterproof, but it really wasn't. And I took and I went to, to Walmart, um, Walmart Lowe's, wherever you want to go. And I picked up some garage door stripping and I cut it in half and because one end of it's kind of tapered down and I put that all the way around up at the front you can see I still need to uh, I need to run a little bead of silicone in there or something to kind of help that but I had no problems with it it was great it was actually really waterproof um, it, it there was no water the only water that got in my kayak come in from the I guess the cockpit and um, it can flow back here so I'd like to try to figure out a way to go in behind my seat there and figure out something to uh, stop it from coming in but I took some weather stripping and um, a little epoxy and cut the weather stripping in half and then I tucked it right up against this little ridge right here and ran it all the way around the little hole and now when used to when you set the lid on it the lid bounced around and moved and that kind of thing not no more now it sets tight and when you put the string put the lashing around it it holds it in place pretty snug so that was a um, that was awesome I didn't carry my fishing rod so I didn't even use my fishing rod holder and then I put a um, if you can tell here this is the plug that goes in the back of it and my kids kept pulling that out and I'd look around and it'd be gone and I'd have to find it in the yard. The kids had been playing with it or something or it was in their playhouse or something like that. So uh, now I put a little, I ran a little piece of uh, 550 cord, hot glued it into the actual plug and um, put a little piece of uh, a little carabiner on it and hooked it to the back. So now if you pull it out or if it comes out or something happens, it's, it's still attached to the uh, to the kayak. It won't go nowhere. So those are the few changes that I made on the Pelican. Um, had a good trip. Can't complain. And uh, sit tight because the video for the trip is getting edited now. I'm working on that. So I hopefully I'll have it up mm, maybe in less than a week. But if you like what you see, hit hit uh, hit like and subscribe.